to the cloud. Okay, Robin, you're up. Me? I came here to gain, I came here to absorb. I'm okay. ready. So, we are, what we are talking about tonight is with all of our executives, which is pretty exciting. I, I actually was messaging, Denise Fiancé messaged me about something. I said, yeah, we, uh, we created four, four executives last month. And she's like, what? I'm like, mm, that's right. So very, very, very exciting. And there absolutely is a point. And it didn't used to be, it used to be you wanted to be executive, of course, because, you know, you would get the match, which is great. Like when you get the the 10% cycle match from everybody else. And, you know, depending on where you were, you may or may not have been able to play in the pools or you might've already, you know, uh, aged out of the pools or whatever, but there wasn't this drive. There wasn't this importance of staying executive like there is now. Like it's, a, it's, it's, it's different ever since they introduced these two things. So executive lifestyle bonus, I think everybody knows about. And it's, you know, you maintain executive, you enroll your two people and you get $750. And then of course, on the third month, you get a thousand dollars. So 750, 750, a thousand, which equals $10,000 in a year, which is a really big deal. I mean, it's worth reinvesting your money if, if that's what you need to do to stay executive because not only do you have so you, so three things are happening right you're getting the 750 dollars bonus or a thousand you're getting the executive match which lindsay have you gotten the executive match yet at, no. um, so no. as soon as when all together all your consultants together if if their cycles it equals at least five cycles for the month. So at least, so five of them cycle once or one of them cycles twice and three of them cycle once. As long as it's five, you will get, and this happens every week, you'll get the executive match bonus, which will be, and at that point, it, it'll be it'll be worth one cycle because it it, it it rounds up. So four and below, you don't get five and up, you it rounds up. And so you'll get an extra cycle and it, and it adds up. Yeah, it adds up. Exciting. Her. I mean, if you think about, think about like Shane and, and Monica, they enrolled Adam. So they get 10% of his cycles every single week, as long as they're executive. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. And plus all of their other, plus Jairus and all of their other consultants. And so, so that's the first thing, of course, being executive is you get the executive match. I mean, there are some, there are some um, people in isogenics that their executive match, they make more in executive match than they do in cycles. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, like big time, like, and, and you only get you get twenty five per person. Like, it, 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 you it, if you're in personally enrolled is cycling two hundred fifty times, you get twenty five cycles for that. You don't get any more. Like, if, if there's a cap, but you know, if you have three or four people doing that, that's hundred cycles right there. Yeah, <laughs> that's true for. It. There are people that that they really do. They make more from their match than they do from cycles, which is incredible. Yeah. So then, so the executive lifestyle bonus, we all, I think we all understand that. Stay executive every single day of the week, every single day of the month, the, the, ca the commission month, not the calendar month, the commission mm -hmm. month. We're going by the, the commission calendar, the pools calendar is what we've always called it. And, um, and enroll those two people. And you must place a hundred BB order every month or have it come through your retail site, right? Mm -hmm. So then the big yeah, Adam, did you put in a yeah. did you put a hundred BB order in? Yeah. I just want to make yeah. sure he has because um, we're it Sunday is the end of this month, right? Sunday is the end of this qualifying period to place a hundred BB order underneath your account. Yes, yes. I did mine with cookies and cream. Yeah, I just I have mine on auto ship. I don't even mess. I don't mess with it. It's not worth risking. So okay, so here's the so then the third one, of course, is the customer referral program, which is what we really want to talk about because you guys are gonna you're, you you have a month and then you're gonna start getting these leads and you're gonna need to know what to do with them. And so hold on, you're gonna have to get down if you bite. You have to get down. Sorry, no biting. Um, so. The, 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 they come actually in three different ways. They come, you, there's three different things that happen with the customer referral program. The first thing that happens is retail orders. 
and they're called customer referral program order. So the retail order, so let's say somebody in, it, it bought a 30 day system and they paid retail, right? You don't get the retail money, but you get the BV. So you get the 184 BV. So what happens is you'll get an email from Isogenics and it'll say customer referral program order. And you will get their contact information. You don't know what they bought unless it's like, you know, 164 BB and, or, or whatever. Like you kind of know it's a 30 day system just based on the BB, but you don't really, you really don't know what they bought. You don't, you don't get that information. Right. Well, you can, Robin, you can check the, no, you don't, you, I'm sorry. You do know what they bought. My bad. You do know what they bought. You don't know what they enroll with. You know what they bought. You know what your retail order person bought, whether they bought three shakes or whether they bought a 30 day system or whatever it is. And then you're getting the BB and you're getting their contact information. So they're buying retail. So they don't have an account. So there's a process and I'm going to let Robin tell you because she's actually really, really, really good at converting the retail leads to enrollments a process that you go through for reaching out to them and try to connect with them and trying to get them to create a relationship and try to tell them that they should never pay retail again. And sign up with you, right? And they may not have bought a 30 day kit. They may, they may have just bought like one product or two products. Like you offer to coach them. You offer to answer questions. You, you offer to, you know, whatever you can do to help them have a really great product experience, but they don't know you and they don't, you're, you're a, you're a person out of the blue texting saying, Hey, I'm done with exogenics and I'm, you know, want to answer any questions you have and whatever. And a lot of times, they don't respond. So we're going to talk about the different ways you can reach out to them and how you can increase your chances of having them respond. So that's the customer retail order. The second thing is a customer referral program enrollment. And you just get an email. And, and unless you maybe you notice that they somebody weird showed up in your tree, you didn't know who it was, you get an email and, and Isogenics just tells you their name and, and their contact information and that, that they've just been enrolled on your tree. So, the, and they'll be enrolled wherever you have it set up for default enrollments to go to. And then if they go in the wrong place, you can move them. Like you can move them, you can transfer them to other people if you want, you can, you can do whatever you want. It's a beautiful thing. And once that's happening, those two enrollments, if you get two full 100 BB enrollments, which we've been getting consistently, they'll count as your enrollments for the life, executive lifestyle bonus program, right? So there's that. And then there's a third kind of lead. I just got one the other day. It's, they're called associate leads, or I don't know what it was. I don't know what. And they just say, this person is interested in learning more about the products, or this person's interested in learning more about the opportunity. And um, it's just like a little contact form. And then you reach out to the person and try to connect with them. I just got one two days ago. I've texted him three times, and he hasn't an answered. He called in, supposedly asking about the business, supposedly, but has not responded to me. So those are the three, but it's tricky because these people don't know us and we're reaching out and we're texting them and we're calling them and we're emailing them, but they don't know who they, who we are. And there's a good chance or, or, you know, often, especially for the retail people, not the program enroll, the program enrollment people, those are great. I mean, they'll, they'll, they've, a lot of times they've used isogenics before they're just coming back or they just heard it works and they just want to buy it. And they bought, you know, they bought it, they set up an account and bought it wholesale. They're, they're easier to connect with than the retail leads. And I think a lot of times what happens with the retail leads is one, they actually have an account and they just didn't log in or they couldn't find the password or they didn't realize what they were doing and then they just order retail. They don't even realize what they're doing. They go to Isogenics, they don't log in, they just order retail and they think they ordered in their account or they just, whatever. So they do have an account. That happens a lot. And, um, and like I always say, have you used the products before? Do you have an account? And you know, anything I can get them to answer any questions. And, um, but the other reason a lot of times people buy retail is they don't want to be part of this whole business thing. They don't want to be pressured. They don't want to be, they don't want somebody to 
try to get them to be a distributor or whatever. So there, I think that's another reason they don't, they don't connect. But there's also a multitude of reasons why people just, they don't know any better, you know, that, that they get on and buy retail. They don't want to set up an account until they've tried it. You know, they don't want to get committed to auto ship. Like there's a lot of different reasons I think that people order retail. And, but just know, sometimes it takes quite a few reach outs before they'll respond. So Robin, I'm going to let you share what you do because it's effective. Muted, you're muted. Come back. I, um, so I write them an email. The first thing I do is I send them an email when I get their contact information for the retail leads. And basically it says, hey, congratulations on taking your first step to um, getting healthy and you're, you've placed an isogenics order. I saw you placed an order for, let's say it's two shakes. Mm -hmm. And I say, um, I'm your, I've been assigned your coach and then I do, if you'll have me with a smiley face. Um, and then I just write down, here's um, how I can help you. And I start by saying, um, first is a 25% discount with associate order, you know, with orders that I can help you get. And basically I say, you paid $55 for a shake or however what. And then I say, and with, with, if, if you let me help you set up a wholesale account, it's $42. So I put it right there in front of them. Exactly how stupid they are for buying retail. <laughs> I don't tell them they're stupid. Um, and then I just say, um, you know, basically we have a private Facebook group. We, I've been doing it for 13 years. So I know how to maximize the plan and get the best results. And, um, I forget what else I can send. I can send it, but and then I say, just let me know if you if you want to connect and you and use me. You know, use me as a coach. And you know, I just probably say one out of five times they contact me. Um, but then I put them on lists. So anytime a seasonal shake comes out, I email them. Anytime a discount, or anytime free shipping comes out, I they, they get an email from me. Anytime there's, I mean, I probably email them. Sometimes I email them four times a month. Sometimes I email them once a month, but they're all in a list together. And then all of a sudden somebody will be like, okay, I'm ready to go. Or, you know, immediately they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I paid retail, you know, sign me up. So, and it, I think it goes in waves. Sometimes they, you know, like five in a row will do it and then five in a row won't. But um, so that I just send them an email and then I, and then I text sometimes I'll put them on my, hit them up, I'll put them in my phone. So when I do the hit them up, I text them. Uh, but most of the time I just email them and I do it individually, you know, like I, I, even though they're on a list, I'm like, Hey, I know you signed up a while ago, but you know, are you out of, are you out of stuff? And then if they did a 30 day, then I put them in my tickler. I'm like, Hey, just checking to see how your 30 days going or depending on what they order, you know, I'm like, Hey, you should be out of cleanse juice. I saw you order one cleanse juice, you know, are you ready to reorder? And I just, there's really no rhyme or reason. I have them in a list and then I'm like, all right, today's the day I'm going to follow up with my retail leads, you know? in addition to that consistent staying in touch with them through the other generic emails. Okay. Makes sense. But you got to be on top of them. And honestly, it's seven to 10 touches. So mm -hmm. don't think you cannot not, not get these leads and then just forget about them. That's the worst thing you can do. So make right. a spreadsheet, figure it out. And then, you know, you can just do a copy and paste with the email addresses from a spreadsheet. And then you can do a blind CC if you want to do it that way. Or you just like, all right, today I'm going to send out, you know, cause you're going to get by the end of, by the end of this year, you'll have 50, 60 possibly, you know, who knows how many, right? So you want to keep them in a detailed spot so that you know what's happening. Now, how long before, so like I went executive um, June, like June 12th or 13th. When would I be, is it, so you're in a, a month or is it a pay month? Like, how does that work? You have to be executive for the whole month. So unfortunately okay. you still have to go through the entire month of July okay. and qualify and then you'll get them in August. Okay. So, but it's good practice to stay there. And honestly, when you get them, like I've been building Christian spots. So, you know, if I get a, a solid, you know, if I get an enrollment, I've just been, Hey, move it under this person under Christian, you know? So I've been moving mm -hmm. them and I've been building him up that way using my enrollments um, to, you know, fill in, fill in some holes. Mm -hmm. oh, makes sense. So you can do that once you start getting them, you know, put right. them under your people. So if you, your best friend or your neighbor or your coworker or whoever, your husband, you know, and then mm -hmm. you start putting them in and, 
you know, if you're coaching them correctly and you're, you're really helping them to achieve great results, they're going to keep reordering. So, I mean, you just have to do it 30 times, right? To get it, get it right 30 times. And there's yeah. your executive for life. I mean, that's in a perfect world, obviously, but you know, like this is huge. I mean, this, this leverage that they've given us is nothing like I've ever seen. I, I would honestly, I'd rather have these leads and these enrollments than $5,000 in leadership pulled on. I mean, I know that we've talked about it, but I'd rather have these every day, like to work with and to, and to leverage and build my- And it's exciting and it's fun. And, and, and I'm telling you like, so one of, one of my customer referral program leads that just came in was, um, she ordered a value pack. She came in with a value pack. She's got a hundred pounds to lose and she's ready to, for this to be a lifestyle. Like she's, she's going to be around for a long time. I think as long as she, she has good experience. I had another one. She's an esthetician. She's looking at, she's used the products before heard great things about them and is do, researching three or four products that she can start recommending to all of her clients to reduce stress, to lose weight, to help their, them have better skin. And she's making her list right now of people that she thinks that she wants to reach out to. Like, what? Like, that's gold. Like Robin said, like, you know, and so, but you have to be, you have to reach out to them. So for the customer referral program enrollments, I call them. I call them as soon as they enroll. I don't email them. I call them. I text them. Now, some don't respond again for weird reasons, but I, 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 I call them. I text them. I text them the next day. Hey, you know, I text them when their box should have come and I put them on an email drip. I use Isogenics business. Um, and I've got, all, I've got all of my retail leads and all of my, um, personal enrollments. Right. And, in I have different lists on isogenics business. And so like, I was just thinking I needed to send, um, I was going to send something. Oh, I was getting ready to send everybody information about the, the, the shred that's starting on the summer shred that's starting on July 5th. Right. So that's a great email to send to everybody across the board, but, but I'll just do it. Like I'll create the email and they come really, they look really professional when they come through the isogenics business, you know, it's just the way they're formatted. And so I'll send it. So I'll, I'll that's on my docket for tomorrow to make sure I reach out to everybody. But I, I probably email them like every, every other week, every third week sometimes. And, and then of course, whenever there's anything happening, but I'll just send out a, like a protein ball recipe or whatever, whatever I can and, and just different things, you know, you know, if I'm offering free shipping or anything I can think of to get their attention. I use different subject lines for my emails and try to make them interesting and trying to make them something that people will open up. But it's nice with Isogenics Business app because you can actually see whether people have opened the email or not. And so for those, you want to jump on them. Like you want to even, the, you get the email I don't know, Robin, do you think it's when they've just placed their order or like the, a day later or? I think it's the same day or a day later. I think it's immediate. Huh? I think it's immediate for new enrollments. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. So, so you, you, you jump on it right away and you, and, and, and so here's some things I'm just going to tell you right up front. Here's some things, cause it is sometimes hard to get them to respond. Um, Carrie Mink said she sends them a, a video of herself talking. So she said that's what she, she texts it to them. She texts them, she does it, and she does a video, and she says, hey, you know, you've been assigned to my team, and I don't know what she says, I didn't ask her, but hey, I'm Carrie Mink, and you've been assigned to my team, and blah, 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 and I want to help you, and, you know, I've been doing this for 13 years, right, same thing. I... I've been doing, I haven't been doing that yet. I will. I think it's a good idea. But what I do is I send them a message and I include a link to my Facebook. So, and my picture pops up as a result, like, you know, how you're, when you put a link to your Facebook, your profile picture. So my profile picture pops up. They can see I'm a real person. And I say, go to Facebook and check me out. I'm a real person. Like, I'm not like scamming you. I'm not like trying, it's, it's not weird. Just go check me out. And then they see pictures of my kids and my dog, and my family, and I'm a real person. And I think that warms up the conversation. Uh, in the eight star group, one of the ladies said she was having trouble. I mean, it's not, it's not us. Like it's not, 
you have to work at it to get them to connect with you. And she said she was having trouble getting them to connect. So now the, the, the message she sends, she sends whatever she sends. And then she says, I'd love to connect with you because I want to send you your welcome gift. Well, who wouldn't want their welcome gift, right? So I thought that was brilliant. And so I'm letting you know all this because you, you, when it starts that, you know, they'll, they'll dribble in. Oh, I got one here. Oh, I got one there. But you gotta be organized. Like Robin said, you have to be keeping track of them because you have to be able to keep reaching out to them. I don't know if you use Trello, Lindsay, I don't know what you use to keep track of everything, but you know, you're, you're going to want like, I mean, I not only load them in there, but I also do. Well, so I load them in, I don't know. I load them into the Isogenics business app, right? So I have all, all, they're all in there. I put them on my phone and I, I put in, you know, I put in Joe Smith dash retail. So I can always, if I search on retail, I can pull up all my retail leads because I put it like dash retail, right? And so I can, I can go down, I'm like, oh, I haven't reached out to this one. Oh, I haven't reached out to that one. Or I can really easily, in hit them up, I have a group that's retail leads. And so I can do one that's retargeted just to them, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, do, I use that. So I do the emails, I do that, and, and I call. I think that was everything. Is that everything, Robin? I think that covers it, yeah. Well, I have them quantified in those two different places but they do come in like oh and you'll also get sometimes you'll get an email say a cust a retail order was placed but the customer didn't provide their contact information and that just means you get the bv you don't get the lead but you get the bv and you keep on rolling for the day right it's cool i what's helpful for me is i as soon as i get them in the email i print them out so i have a hard copy of the piece of paper and then i and then i use it to you know put them follow all the steps that i do with them and i don't put them in a notebook because i tend to work from them with them i tend to work very digitally for the most part but the retail leads you just just put yourself an automated system in place kind of because they, a lot of them don't respond but your email your first email is important like your emails are important the subject lines are important and robin will give you a copy of hers but the um the customer enrollments you want to jump on those they are like mine have been really really great recently and 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 i don't know how long it's i mean we we were in the program before we've been in the program for four years and it was it, they were coming really sparse they weren't they we didn't get anything that often and then all of a sudden when they flipped over to this i don't i really don't know why it would make a difference but we've been getting a lot more like i got the value pack enrollment on Thursday and I just got a, a mini order like 54 BB. I got that enrollment today. Yeah, like every three or four days, right, Rob? Yeah. Well, I haven't gotten, I just, I've gotten two 26 BB orders in the last week. So yeah. Yeah, yeah two a week. That's probably about right. But I'm moving them underneath people underneath Christian, right? Because right. it adds up to 100 BB on one side. Exactly. And so those 26 BB ones, they might not even communicate with you, right? right? They, not, they might not ever communicate back with you, but if you, and, and they're probably not doing you that much good as a 26 BB person, like you don't like, but if you can get them under one of your consultants and they order a shake every month, hallelujah, right? So if you hang, so Carol, we had this conversation and you promised me you were going to hang in there, right? We had this conversation and you I'm have. good. I'm good. I'm I'm working on next month now. I've got this month down. Great. One month at a time. But okay. yours are gonna your these are gonna start for you on Monday. Well, not on Monday. Okay. Probably uh, the, maybe ten days in, Robin, right? They have to they have to assess the fact that you've qualified. Okay. And, and um, Carol, you've put oh yeah, you put a hundred BB order under you because you haven't gotten anything yet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so what happens is it gets a little tricky when they put the retail orders, it, it, you're active for longer, so you just want to be on auto ship. You don't even want to just be, be on auto ship. But what was I going to say? Oh. To stay with it, yeah. To, yeah, to stay with it once you get, like the, this 25, a 26 BB order, it doesn't do you any good as an enrollment. I mean, unless you can, you know, develop them and get them sharing mm -hmm. with other people. But so the mini orders I'm putting under other people to, okay. su to support them and be a consultant, especially right. if they don't respond to me, like especially mm -hmm. if they don't, 
respond to me because like, all right, they're not going to talk to me, but they're probably going to order a shake every month at least. So I'm going to put them under whoever, I, whoever needs support. Right. Okay. Does that make Got sense? It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a lot. And again, there's three different types that'll come in. You normally two. the associate leads don't come in very often anymore. No. Um, but you'll, you'll, once you get them, you'll like, it looks weird at first. And then you're like, Oh, it's one of those. And then, right. and then again, it's, but it's good to know on the front end that you got to be organized about keeping track of them because they mm -hmm. do require a lot of touches in okay. order. And don't they're be worth it. They're worth the touches. It's not like a cold lead that you're touching like in the hopes and crossing your fingers. Like, right. You, you just assume that they're going to come around one time or another. Mm -hmm. So just mm -hmm. they're worth right. all the time and attention. So basically they are just coming in as retail orders and then you contact them about like, just like you heard, I heard what you're talking about. Um, and then you, if they agree to enroll, you just place them wherever you need to place them. Well, there's two. So there's the, that's the retail leads. And then there's the enrollments that just come in and they get enrolled under you. Oh, okay. There's two different kinds. Okay. Please, I need to jump off. I have to go to another call right now. But okay. Thank you so much. This is helpful. All right. You're welcome. Okay. So if they're already enrolled, then they're my enrollment. They are. Yeah. Okay. But like you can move them underneath your husband. You know, if your husband has somebody who fell off, then move one underneath your husband to keep him consultant. Okay. Okay. You just call up customer service and say, hey, I want to move John Doe. And, okay. Um, move them underneath you know, whatever your husband's membership number is and put okay. them on whatever side you need them on. Okay. And they, and I'm going to see this in my email, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Gotcha. Got it. Whatever email Isogenics normally emails you information. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I mean, we'll help you. We'll help you, Carol, you know. And right. It's yeah. I'll reach out. I'll definitely reach out. It's, um, you know. I wanted to do this and kind of quantify all the information and kind of Help you wrap your head around it because when they start coming you need to know in the front end that you need to be organized right mm -hmm. and it's important mm -hmm. yeah got it i think that's it right robin anything else nope okay all right thank you sorry we were at the beach getting ready to go home and my stepson showed up so they're in the restaurant still so i'm sitting there with my water and i just got like a soup broth because i'm cleansing so I'm going to go back in with them for a bit. I'll try to be on the other call, but I'll be probably be late. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right. All right. See ya.